Hello once again, uh, welcome back to Obeno. This is the captain. I'm sorry for the lack of updates recently. Um, I've had a few uh, personal things that have been kind of keeping me away from the computer and away from playing games in general, unfortunately. Um, but today I'm going to bring you a little bit on SimCity. Uh, the dust seems to have settled as far as the uh, launch crises and issues with servers are concerned. Um, I've gotten to play this a little bit so far. I believe a couple hours ago. Um, I'm just going to jump in here. This is a town I've been playing, I believe. Can I forget the name of it now? Um, but I, I've been putting some, at least a couple hours into this one here to get to the point where it's at. And uh, what we're actually going to be doing today is putting a little bit of time into developing uh, what hopefully will be a mining town uh, that will provide resources, that sort of thing for the area. And I'll, I'll show you why in just a, a second here. Okay. That was perfect timing. <laughs> well, here's uh, here's the city I'm running right now. And this is kind of the main city for the region. And uh, the nice thing, I, I love this feature here because you can zoom all the way out and see the entire city in one. Or you can zoom in if you like. Uh, like, let's take a look at the mayor's house, for example. And you can really zoom down to a, a street level you can see the sims walking around. Uh, the way that this actually handles simulation compared to previous games is it actually simulates this on the sim level. Um, so here he's waiting for the bus stop. He's uh, She's going to work. Can it says where they came from. Um, you can actually follow them, which will show you exactly where they're going. Um, it's, it's just kind of a neat feature and it makes it feel much more alive. And uh, in previous games, for example, traffic congestion, that sort of thing, uh, was not very clear. Um, because it was just kind of represented by dots on the road, but here you can see actual traffic conditions in here. Actually, I'm going to need to upgrade these roads soon. Um, this represents the amount of congestion on that road. So let me do that right now real quick since we're standing here. There you go. As you can see, that cleared some of it up, but it'll take a second for uh, what's there already to uh, clear out as well. Um, but it is, is a little bit smaller map size than previous SimCities, but I, I feel like it's more than enough considering the fact that uh, each of these zones here, the green is uh, residential, yellow is industrial, blue is commercial, um, are all actually uh, in three different densities. There's low density, which in the case of like residential is, actually I don't know if I have any more. Oh, here we go. Like uh, it goes all the way from trailer parks in uh, really low wealth areas to kind of mid-side houses like this to... Let's see, like what I have here in my wealthier part of town. Here's some good apartments, which is medium wealth. And each building actually tells you exactly the land value and such, all the way up to uh, gigantic mansions for uh, the the very kind of top elite of society. And and that's all based on like uh, parks and that sort of thing in the area. Um, so it, there's a lot of kind of density kind of things that come into play that aren't in the previous games that I, I'm aware of. I, I haven't played them really extensively since 2000 though. Um, but what we're going to actually be doing today, this is my, my city I'm running right now, I just want to kind of show it off a little bit here, kind of where I'm at, kind of where it can go. I still have a lot of growth to go. I'm only at 15,000 people. And I'm actually kind of last couple months here, in, in game months of course, uh, kind of at a stasis here. It's kind of leveled out. Um, and, and a large part of that is because I don't have enough residential zones, and the zones that I do have are not are not a, in a high density enough area here. So I need to bring a little bit more wealth to the land value in here, and then that will start to develop up from there. Okay, so we're actually going to jump out, and uh, the nice part of this is it's actually in uh, a region, so instead of just being completely cut off from any other outside world, we can jump over here. I started this a little bit here just to actually have a way for this city to make more money because you can share resources down here. Let's see. And I actually think I'll have to show you when I jump in here. But you can actually share resources between cities. Uh, so you can buy electricity, water, that sort of thing if you're running out of resources. Uh, things like water and minerals and uh, you know, natural resources like that are actually a limited quantity for the cities. And so I, I haven't run into myself and I haven't heard too many complaints about it, but there actually is kind of a theoretical upper cap for that kind of thing here. Um, so yeah, I just got this started a little bit here. I've got this zoned just enough to start having people moving in. Uh, this is very low at 769 people so far, but it's making a, a decent amount of income so far. 
And uh, what we're looking at here, why I picked this area, you've got these great maps in SimCity here where you can see exactly ground pollution levels, you can see like uh, germ maps which tell you where sickness is because they start getting sick. It's actually contagious based on this, the simulation of the individual sims. And so they'll take it to work with them, that sort of thing. But what we have here is you've got maps of water tables, you have coal maps, ore maps, and we have oil, which I think is where this one's primarily going to be, as well as like trade and tourism. And I haven't, I haven't actually got anywhere into trade or tourism from here, um, for the most part. Like I said, the other town's just been kind of like a, a sample town, just getting used to everything. Uh, and eventually, the goal here is this is a, I actually picked a very small region for the first one, just because I kind of liked how stuff was laid out. Um, we've got one more plot here which I can claim, and uh, other people, other players can actually claim that and you can play online. Um, but what you can also do here is we've got a great work site. And what this does is it provides a benefit to all cities in the region. So we've got stuff like a solar farm, which provides, yeah, provides power to all cities in the region. We've got international airport, which brings in tourism and such. We've got space center, arcology. We've got a bunch of different benefits. But the downside to this here is we, as you can see here, it takes a ton. I mean, we have 45,000 crates of processors, so we need a city that will be able to build computer parts. We've got 600 tons of alloy. You know, we, we've got tons of materials required to make up this stuff. I, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know if this region has that that sort of support, um, just because this one doesn't have my primary town doesn't have hardly anything as far as. Uh, any kind of minerals or resources go or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's see, I'm going to start building out a little bit more from here. And uh, let's try to get our town hall already installed. And we'll try to get some uh, people in. You know, I don't have enough wealth to really expand up there yet. So we'll get some people in to uh, start mining and that sort of thing, really. So you have a high need for residential and a high need for industrial. And this is something, actually, I, I haven't really seen a ton of usefulness here. This doesn't seem to really match up to what's needed in, in the world. Uh, it seems like it always needs industrial. And anytime I build more industrial, it just tells me it needs more residents, even though the industrial... the uh, residential zone isn't isn't in need as far as that's concerned so I, I th that might be a, a bug to be honest here but so far I've got commercial residential let me build in some industrial here and uh, this is going to have the unfortunate side effect of lowering the land value in this area due to uh, the pollution and that sort of thing but uh, this is going to be a mining mineral kind of town so we're not really anticipating needing to uh, to uh, draw a lot of high wealth uh, people or anything like that and uh, it's got this nice map here as you can see the industrial right off the bat has a negative influence on land value town hall has positive and uh, as you start building parks that sort of thing it can start affecting that as well Let's see. I'm just waiting for these to build out. I'll actually speed up time a little bit. An unfortunate side effect of the uh, server issues they were having as well as they did cut down uh, the high speed, that cheetah speed, actually isn't any faster than the second highest speed. I guess uh, that that much activity from that many people is, is putting a strain on their servers, so that has temporarily been disabled, unfortunately. Let's go back to the region. Because I think, yeah, I see I'm buying electricity from them. I actually don't have a plant here at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I have the option to buy water from the neighboring city, but I, I haven't actually started yet. Because I've actually got enough by my own options. Uh, I might need to buy sewage treatment, though. Let's see where we're at. And these uh, light up different colors based on the warning. So yellow means it has something that needs your attention. Red, of course, means an emergency kind of thing. Yeah, and as we can see, we have a high need for industrial. 
And we got a petition to boil, build oil well, so we can get started on that pretty soon here. As soon as we have the funds for it. I totally forgot what I was doing. Yeah, and as, as you can see there, they'll actually commute. So if I have high wealth workers here, but there's no high wealth place for them to work, uh, they will travel to Clearwater, commute for uh, that sort of thing. I don't want to gift anything. Sewage, that's why I was checking. <laughs> A nice thing here, we can actually track... I can remember where. Oh, here we go. Sewage map. And uh, in this SimCity, the the roads work as the water lines, sewage lines, and power lines all in one. So you don't have to build those resources independently. So let's see. These are full of sewage. So these are going to actually start start a. Uh, and start going through the pipes if we had a place to put them. Uh, if you don't take care of the sewage problem, you actually end up with a situation where it'll start backspilling into lawns, and it's 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 disgusting, really, the way <laughs> the way it's represented. Um, and then uh, you yeah, you have an issue where land value starts dropping, people's happiness starts dropping, people start moving out. So we're gonna buy sewage uh, treatment from Clear Water here in my main city. I've got more than enough to spare. Yeah, see, and I'm receiving uh, garbage from, from clear water as well. More jobs. Fine, jeez. The nice thing is you, you get these pop-up bub bubbles as well, which gives a pretty good idea of uh, what's needed. Like, these are positive things. As you can see, the, the town hall is kind of where the main... Uh, feedback comes from and is stating more jobs, so that's what it was kind of notifying me here is we need more industrial zones. Yeah, they're talking about mines, oil well, yep, okay. So let's zone more industrial real quick here. Actually, let's see if we've got the option to add an oil well here. Yeah, 37,000, that's going to take, take a little while to build up to. Uh, luckily, because we don't have any hospitals or anything like that yet, uh, the budget, I mean, this is kind of the net, so it'll actually break down. See, I'm spending $200 a month on, uh, or I think it's based on hour, on government, 100 on water, and then I have income from these zones here. So it'll, it'll actually tell you a net change per hour. So over the course of a month, I should have enough to start drilling oil. But the problem is if I don't address medical and all that, of course, it's going to start having problems right off the bat. What do we have here? We had coal? Man, these are so many, so many data maps, it's nuts. It'll tell you the happiness level of these different buildings. Yeah, see, look, I can take a look and it'll tell me why they're unhappy. Uh, here's actually a happiness meter, which will tell me the net gain, like if it's going up or down, you know, trending. Uh, we've got exactly what the issue is. Yeah, no shoppers. See, they're they're uh, not making money here because we don't have enough residential. So we have to zone for more of that here soon. Okay, so we've got. So we don't have ore. We have some coal. No, we have a lot of ore, don't we? Okay. Ore is useful. We've got a ton of oil. I'd really like to start that soon. I'm going to have to plop it right over the top of these houses, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's get some more residential. And we need some more industrial here. So, let's see. You know, let's go ahead and build this. Uh, we're gonna have to have an avenue, unfortunately. They they go based on. See, this is four lane. These are two lane, and the density allows different kinds of buildings. So, in order to have like big skyscrapers and stuff, you really need that high density avenue. So let's go ahead. Uh, since we're gonna have a lot of traffic up here, since it's kind of splitting the town. 
let's build here. I can start building uh, cross sections. And actually, I'm going to make these streets. Um, I haven't had an issue yet with the streets causing too much of a problem. So let's build a little grid of. Residential up here. See, I'm out of money just building these roads. That one cost me a lot. But in the meantime, I think it's pretty safe for us to see this is going to be industrial in this corner here, so let's. That's a pretty safe bet. So we'll build more residential here. As you can see, it starts building right away. And I love the uh, the detail here. You've got these little guys working on the individual buildings, and these will sit vacant until people actually move in and stuff. So it's all it's like it's all simulated on that sim level, which is fantastic. Let's see, we start out with mobile homes and trailer parks and stuff. And uh, this city will probably not progress past that, unfortunately, just because of the fact that uh, the oil well is going to reduce land value so much. And we're also going to be losing a lot for uh, the industrial zones that we're going to need to build, too. What is he saying we need? Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. We can build more industrial. So I guess here. Here we go. Okay. These guidelines seem a little inconsistent too. Sometimes I'm looking for not a small answer. <laughs> See uh the more the more intersections you build, the more options there are for cars to go through. This is going to be an issue. I can tell already. But we've got a lot of people moving in as well. So those uh, those numbers of uh, cars on the street are probably going to be a lot higher than they will be in the future, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and build that in, make sure we're going to have enough throughput and stuff for that area. Let's build industrial. That can be built. I'm gonna hold off on this because of the fact that that grid will be built out more. Actually, though, I guess we can build. Oh, we might as well. If we have to destroy a truck, that'll be fine. It'll have to survive. Okay. Things are progressing nicely, so with that, I'll go ahead and give that a pause. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stopping in. Uh, please be sure to check the description down below for links on Facebook, Twitter, uh, all that sort of fun stuff, and we do appreciate your support. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, uh, we, I also do a lot of live streaming as well. I'm trying to kick that up a little bit more. I have been for the last couple days especially, and I will update on my Facebook uh, whenever we're doing live streaming or anything like that, so be sure to follow me there as well. So apart from that, thanks for stopping by. You have a great rest of your day.